With another winter winding down, lots of people are looking forward to spring and the lower energy bills that come with it. Now there's a new state program aimed at helping homeowners make major energy efficiency upgrades simply by paying their power bills. It's as if someone turned the heat on but left a door wide open at this home outside of Schenectady. You're looking at the cold air coming through the return register with the blower door on. That's the diagnosis from an energy efficiency audit. There are enough cracks and leaks in this house to add up to the size of a door left open night and day. You think that your house you know, is, is fairly comfortable and efficient, but uh, this type of energy assessment really helps you understand that you know, there's definitely a, a lot of room for improvement. Homeowner Steve Smith now plans to make some upgrades after he got a behind the scenes tour of his own home, thanks to a new program from New York's Energy Research and Development Authority, or NYSERDA. You want to go all the way around 360 degrees, all the way around each union. It's all part of the Green Jobs Green New York Act of 2009, which has helped cover energy audits to more than 13,000 homes around the state. Right there, you see the studs, and that's the actual bays that are have no insulation or air sealing whatsoever. Finding all the spots where air is leaking into the home or out of the home, um, some of the cold spots in the walls that I could see on the infrared camera was it was very interesting and, and eye-opening. Smith also plans to take advantage of NYSERDA's latest offering, called an on-bill recovery loan. Homeowners can borrow up to $25,000 in a low-interest loan for energy efficiency upgrades for things like a new hot water heater, insulation, or a furnace. They then pay back the loan simply by paying their power bill. A lot of people say that they don't have the ability to uh, make the upgrades because of the upfront cost. This takes that out of the equation. The repayments are designed to reflect the estimated energy savings, so homeowners shouldn't see an overall increase in their bill. The loan is also structured to stay with the property if it's sold. The average savings is around $700 a year. Right now, the on-bill loan is only available to homeowners, but in the next few months, NYSERDA plans to open it up to small businesses and nonprofits as well. When the energy audits first started, there was some concern that NYSERDA would run out of leaky buildings. But it turns out problems plague both old and new structures. The people building these homes don't have the training that we have, so they're creating energy inefficient homes every day. Certified contractors like Matt Houle perform the audits. He's trained to look for problem spots with the help of this thing called a blower door. It's going to uh, show the difference between the, the pressure between the indoors and outdoors, and it's going to show us where the leakage is in the house. With the blower door on, Hooli uses a smoke stick to reveal breezes blowing in through cracks all over the house. That is a very common issue that there's a little or to no air sealing done and um, very little insulation in the attic, especially in this, this age of a home. Although kitchens and bathrooms can often make or break the sale of a house, Energy experts say basements and attics are where you can lose a lot of money as a homeowner. Both spots need to be properly insulated and air sealed. Insulation and air sealing go hand in hand with each other. They're like the peanut butter and jelly, you know? So basically, air sealing stops the air from moving in to the insulation and helps the insulation work. Aside from the cost savings, the program is aimed at safety. NYSERDA officials say they find gas leaks in one out of every five homes they look at. Yeah, it looks like we have a gas leak right here. Carbon monoxide is another serious hazard. It can build up at low levels, making people sick while they think it's just a cold or the flu. And a lot of people think that they have CO detectors in a house, carbon monoxide detectors. That's a safety device. And that means if it, carbon monoxide levels get really high, it gives you time to get out of the house. With a young family to look after, Smith says he quickly replaced his furnace after the audit uncovered a faulty heat exchanger. Making sure that the, my home is, is safe is, is very important. And I don't think a lot of people equate the two, um, energy efficiency with safety. But um, having had the, the assessment done, I understand that they're very important and they go hand in hand. Those energy audits are free to most New Yorkers. You can sign up for one and learn more about how to apply for an on-bill loan through NYSERDA's website. The Innovation Trail is a collaboration between five upstate media outlets reporting on the economy and technology. For more, you can go to innovationtrail.org.